If the power button on your smartphone or tablet is playing up and either not working at all or working intermittently, here's how you might be able to fix it without having to spend any money and without having to take apart your phone or use any tools. Hi, I'm Paul FP for Switched On Network, and this is a quick video on how to fix a faulty power button on your smartphone or tablet. Well, I say fix, what I'm actually gonna show you is a workaround so you can avoid needing to use the actual physical button. This here is my OnePlus 3T, which is a few years old now, but still going strong apart from a slightly cracked screen. But about a month or so ago, after coming back from Crete where we filmed our smartwatch review with the TicWatch Pro, the power button started playing up, which was really frustrating as I couldn't turn off the screen when I wanted to put my phone back in my pocket. I'm guessing some seawater or sun lotion or something found its annoying way in there. So depending on what specific phone you have, you'll have different options available to you. So mileage may vary, but if you go into your phone settings and look for gestures and see what you find. On the OnePlus, which is Android running Oxygen OS, if I go into settings, then buttons and gestures, and then buttons, I have the option to configure a double tap on the home button to turn off the screen. It's as simple as that. There are other things you use the button for as well, of course, and this phone gives me the option to have double tap the screen to wake up. Also, putting your finger on the fingerprint reader often wakes a phone up too. If your phone is powered off and you can't turn it on because of a faulty power button, try this. Hold the volume down button for a few seconds and then plug your charger in. On this phone, that causes the phone to power on and boot into download mode. We don't actually want download mode, but the point is that it's got it to turn on despite the faulty power button. From the menu options in download mode, we can select reboot and then the phone will power up as normal. Phew, 